The games I will be hyped for for the Nintendo Switch. Five big ones. Not two. Five real big ones coming to mind. Besides, you know, the main two focuses they had on this whole Direct, Nintendo Direct for the Switch, which was ARMS and Splatoon 2, is um, some of the indie games. They look super cool as fuck. Obviously, I already knew about Ultra Street Fighter, but I didn't. I never heard of the character for, like, Ken Sai being ultra-violent Ken. That's super awesome, huh? I thought Ryu was the only one that had, like, a different persona of himself, which was evil Ryu, but apparently I was wrong. <laughs> I want that chick Judy Hanza coming back. Her and Crimson Viper, I really hope to God those two females are actually in the game because those are my two feet favorite, absolutely wonderful, spectacular, like, female fighters to play as. You know, the main two, like, female characters are, like, the most overpopularized, like, um, chicks in that series is mainly Kami and Sean Lee most of the time. And then I guess Sakura a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, so there's that game besides Street Fighter I want. I really, really want to see, like, um, <laughs> I'm super overhyped as fuck for, which would be, like, that one. And then, like, the other four I'm trying to think. Ugh. I see there's the Kirby Deluxe Clash. Clash Deluxe. I want to get that game. When I do buy the Nintendo Switch, I'm buying that one, that one, and I will be buying, like, a couple other ones. Of course, I'm going to be downloading the Sonic Mania game. Obviously, that's... That's without fucking question, obviously. And then, uh, let's see. What are the other two games I might be tad bit hyped for? Not super hyped for, but at the same time, I'm not bored as fuck about it either. It would have to be... Ugh, what else? I have a lot of brain farts today, man. I was just trying to take all this, like, news information in all at once. Uh, let's see. I know the Fire Emblem series is coming out again. I don't know which one it was. I think it's Fire Emblem... Echoes. That's what it was. Alright. I'm going to go back to see what other games that they had like, listed for the Nintendo Switch. It's coming out this year. Mainly this summer and fall of 2017. Let's see. Ugh. Oh yeah, Disguise of Five. I mean, I like a lot of the fan art. I like the fan art, but the official anime artwork in the background that they had for that. And the music was really, really pumping and jumping. So... Granted, I know I'm not really big into anime JRPGs. I might give that one a chance. I might. I'm not saying I'm 100% officially going to buy that game for myself, but um, I might consider it in the top five. And then, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, there's the Pikmin Cross thing. I'm not really hyped about that one because I really wanted it to be for the Switch instead of the 3DS. So it kind of like kicked me in the balls a little bit when I saw that it was only going to be for the 3DS, so... I'm a tad bit disappointed in that for Nintendo for doing that shit. But, um, yeah, other than that, it is what it is. I know the Yokai Watch thing is coming out. I really don't give a fuck about that game too much. I'm sorry for anyone that's a Yokai fan or whatever. It's just, I never really felt a big connection with that game. <clears throat> it never really sparked my interest, to be more specific and blunt about it. Oh, uh, what else? Of course, I know there's a Mario Kart 8 game that's coming out. Let's see. Trying to think, what other games are on there? I ain't seen nothing about the ukulele series coming out for Switch. That's the weirdest shit, man, honestly. Unless it got pushed back again, then that's kind of fucking bullshit if they did that. Not good, Nintendo, if you were going to do that. Let's see. Oh, that one game didn't. They didn't. They've never showed any information about it. Let's see. Yeah. Cuddle Death Revolt or Rewolf? And I think it was like some DDR Dance Dance Revolution like ripoff game, but I would really, really love to be interested in seeing that series. But um, yeah, I'm going to check that off when I'm done with the video because um, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. And it looks super, super interesting as shit, so I'm, not, I'm really surprised why they didn't show that to the game. There's no other like two games franchise that I was really hoping to God that they would bring back to the Switch, which is another brand new Metroid game and another Wario game. Like, um, besides the whole WarioWare Inc. I mean, that's a real cool-ass feature to like... Um, a lot of the old school Nintendo games, like even way back in the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance series, Nintendo DS, DSi Lite, um, 3DS, even before that, like in the game, Nintendo um, GameCube and then the Wii system. I used to love playing the shit out of Warrior War games, so surprised they didn't mention anything about that. So I'm a little disappointed in that, but aside from that, some of the games look really cool as fuck. Others, I really have too much, I really don't have too much of an interest for. Mainly because I'm getting old as shit, because, um, Especially other games that have the little Minecraft Nintendo side of things. I mean, it looks alright, but just... I kind of got bored of Minecraft like five, six years ago. So I really don't really care too much. Don't have a love for Minecraft like I did back in the day. 
Other than that, that's all I gotta say for now. Um, that concludes this Nintendo Direct um, reaction review segment. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. They don't say it very often, very much, but like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Share a favorite if you want to. Not forcing you. But with that said, that's it. Pretty much wraps up the video. I'm done here. Links in the description box down below. Annotations on the side if any people want to see this video on your own personal time. And I'm out of here. Peace out once again. Rose, women, bronies, and Pegasus sisters. And I'm talking to the Yankee commodities out there. We'll see you when I see you guys. A good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't drink the reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, next time, guys. Peace out, ladies and bye. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay, stay, stay healthy. Be easy, be you. Do it yourself. Peace out. Let's talk I'm going to get a lot here. Stay tuned for more future content on the channel. Stay tuned for more updates. And of course, as always, people, stay safe, everyone. And stay tuned for more future um, other commentary, comments, commentaries, content, and of course, as always, vlogs on the channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC Game News, and of course, on that side of my article session re reaction, not reactions, my article session story review segments. An article session story like journalist um <clears throat> journalist stuff that I always talk about in that room like anime otaku related news and um, video game news like Nintendo, PC, Xbox, Sony type of news article um article sessions that I dig up from the internet. And this side of the room, my overhype reactions for MLP Pokemon fan animation reaction review segments, overhype reaction review segments obviously. And of course my Marvel DC action comedy movie trailers video game trailers, anime otaku related trailers, and of course my video responses and rants on this side of the room for my regular reaction review segments, videos. And with that said, my friends, peace out, just goodbye. I know this was probably like 50, 55 minutes long, so you stood with me to the end. Thank you very much. You are an amazing ass person, and I respect the hell out of you. Peace out, lates, and I'm out of here.